coming to you this day from the third floor of the Rhode Island State House. My name is Dave Barber, Capital Television, in a segment we call simply Capital Spotlight. We essentially put the spotlight on a member of the General Assembly and discuss some of the things they've been working on. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome back a woman that we've interviewed many times, and it's great to have her back with us today, the Honorable State Representative Teresa Tanzi. Representative, it's good to see you. Thank you. It's nice to be here. I, I know you and your colleagues have all been very busy this session and I know as we all look to hope that the economy improves you've been a very very big part of this 18 bill package that the speaker has been promoting you have some specific legislation that uh, is designed to help our economy. Tell our viewers about that. Sure. What it is, is it's an opportunity to provide accountability for many of the tax preferences that we as a state invest in. Um, we have something that's developed each and every year called Unified Economic Development Report. And that does a cost analysis, um, which delineates the, the costs to the state, the true costs. Um, but what it left out was the benefit, so that we can gain, begin to understand um, what the benefit is back to the state. So for every dollar we forego in revenue, we need to understand how much the state is getting in return. So you essentially evaluate the program. Are we getting a good bang for our buck, essentially, right? It's true. Any corporation, any business would have a plan that would go over the cost benefit each and every year and make adjustments and the state of Rhode Island has taken that first step uh, with a limited number of these expenditures and I think it's a great first step. Uh, Representative Tansy, tell us about your work on tax transparency and what you're trying to do to make our tax programs more transparent. Sure, thank you. Um, it's something I talk about all the time, and we have $1.7 billion worth of these tax incentives that we um, annually forego in revenue, and um, it's been something that I have long felt we needed more openness and understanding on so that we can, again, begin to tweak them and make them the most efficient for our state. And um, we have a, a real opportunity uh, here to do that, and I, I'm just I'm thrilled that the speaker has included this in his package, and we can begin that process. Are you optimistic that it will pass? I am. We passed it on the House side. It was unanimous uh, just last week, and um, I think in conjunction with the other pieces of the package, it's a real great step forward. Representative Tansy, thank you so much for talking to us. You're always cooperative. Mm -hmm. I wish you the very, very best, especially with these two specific pieces of legislation. It's always great to have you here, and I wish you and your colleagues in the House the very best. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure to be here, Dave. And of course, we could not do it without you. For Capitol Television, I'm Dave Barber.